Hi, I just got back from uh, Board Game Afternoon. It was not the one I normally talk about. It was there's there's two game shops in my area, and they each host a Board Game Afternoon on the same day at the same time. Um, but one of them only does it once a month, and the other one does it more regularly. I usually go to the regular, the one that does it more regularly, because I have more say in what game I'm gonna play. Um, but I went to the other one this time. One because, you know, I like to go there too. It's nice to play with some different people. Um, two, there was the issue I talked about in the last video. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that still with the person getting uh, removed from the group. Um, and then three, they were playing Space Alert, which I thought, you know, I've been wanting to play Space Alert, but not enough to learn. <laughs> I actually own that copy of Space Alert. I guess I could hold it up so there's some visual other than me talking. Um, Played Space Alert, had a lot of fun. I enjoyed this game. Um, yeah, I, it's it's. I had a discussion with the guy I played the second game with after Space Alert, which I, I think maybe expressed my feelings of the game the best. Um, he didn't like it because he had played before and he didn't like it because he felt it didn't cover the subject matter of being on a spaceship very well. And I totally agree with that, but I, where I disagree, well he was talking in terms of theme. I think it's theme space, but it's subject matter is not space, it's subject matter is communication in crisis. You know, communication in the moment, how to, how to communicate best when you have a lot on your mind and you have very little time. Um, and that's really interesting to me, any game that, that can kind of access um, certain parts of, of the human experience I think is worthwhile. And Space Alert is worthwhile. Um, it's, it, it's, it's fun, um, especially if you don't mind losing, you know. Uh, and, and it, you know, it has this, you can, you can observe something about the human, especially if you're playing with other humans. One reason I haven't played it yet, uh, but prior to this, is because I don't feel like it's solos very well. It's about communication. I could try that with the real people cards, but, um, and generally, if I'm going to bring a game before other people, I like to learn it first solo, and it's just, it, it, it didn't seem exciting enough to do solo to get me to do it. And I have, you know, a lot of other games that I would like to learn solo. So Space Alert, a lot of fun. Um, we never got, you know, we didn't get through all the tutorial things. We were doing tutorial scenarios, lost a lot, but we started to get it down. Um, yeah. So that was great. Um, then we played Constantinopolis. That's a... Uh, you know, it's a game where you build buildings and you collect resources and the produce resources in the form of cubes and then ship those resources uh, to get money and points. Um, it wasn't bad. You know, the, the explanation of the game, you know, I was kind of, I, I, I did this game because it was either that or this other game called Hawaii that I could choose from and they both seemed kind of similar. I knew a bit more about Hawaii and I knew I didn't want to play that. So I went with this game, Constantinopolis, instead. Um, also, just to play with some different people, because the person who was running that um, was someone I hadn't played with in a while. And so I played that game. It was fine. It was fine. Um, I, I enjoyed it. I, the group I was with allowed for some silliness, which, which I, I enjoy, while um, still staying focused on the game. So that worked out well. Uh, would I look to play this game? No. Um, it's kind of reminded me a little bit of Homesteaders, I think that's a game. It's like Homesteaders in some ways, but I think I like Homesteaders better. Um, another conversation I had about this game was the person was saying it's an economic game. And I don't know that I see that it is. I don't think it was, I don't, I don't know what you're going to glean from economics about that game. It's a, it's maybe a shipping game, or maybe, but there's some like weird rules, like you can't buy goods that you produce. For example, what kind of economy is this, like, where that's the case? Um, maybe people just don't sell to you because you produce, I mean, there's just a lot of arbitrary rules like that. Um, it did have titles, which I enjoyed, I enjoyed having titles. Um, like the game I played last time I talked about this, I don't remember what it was called. Uh, the one with the, the New York game had, it had titles. Um, it was a, it was a pretty relaxing game, I guess. It was like kind of, just kind of in your head space doing some stuff. I didn't really care that much about it. I didn't really like want to put forth. The problem with games like this, I think for me, is they, um, in order to get a good competitive value, which is what they're supposed to be about, I think for a lot of people, 
um, you have to care about the game. And anytime it, these games, I just can't get invested in them. But it's this one was light enough that it was like, I, it didn't matter that I, I could still play the game reasonably well. I got in the middle placement in terms of victory at the end. Um, and yeah, so I didn't have to put forth a lot of energy and I enjoyed the people I was playing with, so it was nice. Um, but again, I, I wouldn't look to play it again. Uh, there's, you know, I, 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 I might play it again. I don't know, my time's so valuable, that's the problem. Uh, so anyway, that was nice. Other than that, what have I been playing? I've been playing a lot of innovation. Uh, well, not a lot, but a lot compared to other games. Played a nice game with all the expansions last night with my wife. Um, she had some interesting thoughts about it. I, I wrote a bit about it today uh, when I was after I just woke up, and I forget what she even said now. It was so long ago. And then last weekend I got to play Innovation with um, three games with the blue and the brown deck uh, together, and then uh, I've been playing Innovation with a, a nine-year-old who comes to the childcare. Uh, just the base set. So it's been fun to explore that with him. What else have I been doing? I've been trying Zendo out with the kids. Five-year-olds and younger do not get the idea of the inductive reasoning. They just want to stack the, the pyramids and they don't really get the idea of figuring out the secret rule. Which I can kind of understand. That's hard for some people anyway. Adults to, to get that. Um, some people take to it right away. Other people are like, what? What am I supposed to be doing? It's not a complicated game. I really enjoy it. Um, and I think that's about it. I played a game of Lifeboat last weekend. No, two weeks ago. I might have talked about that already. I don't remember. So that's, I, I should probably stick to the, the nearer future. What other games have I been playing with the kids? I played Home Builders, um, which it's a family pastimes game. Not one of my favorites, I'll say that right now, but fun because it's, you can build a trailer and you can pick, build an adobe in it. I like that. I'm uh, not sure I quite got the game, though. Um, and with the children, I have been playing... I think that's about it. A lot of Zendo home builders played Funny Faces. Funny Faces can and cannot work. It's really kind of... The, the activity of the game is it'll tell you something to act out, something silly to act out till it's your next turn. But whether or not you do has no bearing on the game. So, you know, it's kind of like a fun activity you can do while you're doing this kind of, um, this game that you really can't lose. Uh, so anyway, there's that.